All right, so I'm creating this video to help anybody who doesn't know how to set up a Cardano wallet and how to do a transaction as well as send ADA to this wallet so that you can purchase Cardano NFTs. And if you want to participate in the Beast Bros drop this weekend, I will do, this is gonna be a tutorial on how to set everything up properly and how to make sure that everything goes smoothly when you mint a Beast Bro NFT. So first you're gonna come to Google and you want to download the Yoroi or the NAMI wallet or Daedalus wallet. Personally, I use NAMI and Yoroi. I also have a card wallet as well, but that one is not as widely as accepted. And Daedalus is a little bit more difficult to use. Um, personally, I don't use Daedalus, although it is there, you can use that one as well. Daedalus, Yoroi, and NAMI wallets are probably the most common used in the uh, CNFT space as of right now. So what you're gonna do is come to Google and you can just type in Yoroi wallet extension. Okay, as soon as you come to Yoroi wallet extension, you click on this, it should be the first one, chrome.google.com, Yoroi. All right, you're gonna click add to Chrome. This little pop-up will come up. You'll click add extension. It'll download and then it should pop up here at the top right corner. Yep, your Roy has been added to your Chrome. So now you're going to open up your Roy. It's going to open up a new web page for you. You'll select your language. You'll agree to their terms of use and you will allow Cardano payment URLs. All right. And you'll get a little pop-up up here. Yoroi wants to open web Cardano links. Click allow, hit finish. Okay. And now it will bring you to this main page. So if you already have, so there's a couple different ways you can set up Yoroi. If you already have a Yoroi wallet, obviously you probably wouldn't be watching this, but you can restore your wallet. You just enter your seed phrase in there and it should restore your wallet. If you're creating a new wallet from scratch, you'd click create wallet. I'll set that up with you in just a moment. And then also if you have a hardware wallet, like a Ledger Nano S or a Trezor, or you know, there's different ones you can get. You can connect your hardware wallet to your Roy extension as well. This is for cold storage. So if you want to have a Cardano ADA in your wallet, and if you want to keep it like completely offline, the most secure way you can uh, hold your crypto is in a cold storage wallet. That's what a Trezor or a Ledger wallet and a Ledger Nano S wallet is and what it does. So you would just, you would transfer your ADA onto your Roy and then from your Roy, you'd connect your hardware wallet into your computer via USB and then you transfer the ADA from your Roy wallet to your USB, your Ledger or your Trezor. So we're gonna set up a new uh, wallet here. So pick a currency or platform. I guess they have Ergo on here now, which is kind of cool. I have some Ergo, but you click Cardano, you'll click create wallet. You'll make a wallet name. Let's just do like, I don't know, Beast Bros NFT. Okay, you'll create a password. You'll repeat that password. You'll click create personal wallet. So make sure nobody looks at your screen unless you want them to have access to your funds. So you click that, you click continue. It'll give you a recovery phrase here. You're going to write down on a piece of paper and I would suggest that you put this somewhere very, very safe. You wanna have it in multiple places in cold storage and maybe on like a hard drive, right? That you don't have connected like a cold storage hard drive. You wanna have it somewhere there so you have it online and offline potentially so that if you ever are traveling somewhere, you forget the piece of paper, you have it online somewhere, um, but also offline with like a, you know, like a external hard drive or something like a file. So you just go ahead and write down each one of these. You got, you want to make sure that you write each one of these down. Make sure you do spaces, capitalization. I mean, these are all lowercase. So just make sure you write down exactly as it is uh, there. So once you do that, you'll come, you'll click next, and then it'll ask you to type in each word of the correct order to verify your recovery phrase. So it'll give you all the words here you'll go ahead and type those in. Okay, so once you do that, you'll just click agree and understand, click confirm, and now you are in your wallet. So from here, if you ever want to send a transaction, what you'll do is you'll click on send, you'll get the address of whatever wallet address you're sending your Cardano to. So on mint day for Beast Bros, you'll see the wallet address on the website. I will be releasing it on the website, only on the website. Quick disclaimer, do not send ADA to anybody in Discord or Twitter or anyone who reaches out to you and saying, oh, here, send ADA to this address and I'll send you a Beast Bro NFT, right? If anyone asks you to do that, it's a scam. Just keep that in mind and don't send your ADA to anybody except for the authorized wallet on the Beast Bros website only. On Mint Day, you will see it there. You'll click the uh, Mint button where the whitelist button is currently and you'll click that. You'll see the wallet address and you'll copy and paste that into receiver. You'll paste that here, right? Let's just say that was it. And then you'll click the amount. It'll be 55 
of ADA. And then if you want to add a memo for what, you know, what you're sending it for, you can add a memo. So, it would, you know, you could do like Beast Bros NFT, right? And then, uh, and obviously if you're going to buy more than one, you, you would send the corresponding amount. And I will have a table on the corresponding amounts if you want multiple Beast Bros on the website. In this case, it'd be for one NFT, you'd click 55 ADA, you'd click next, and then you'd send the transaction. And then you'll be able to see it on Cardano scan and you'll be able to see when the transaction verifies. So that is how you send a transaction. That is how you will mint a Beast Bro NFT. And then you can come here to transactions once you have sent that transaction and you can see the transaction here under transactions. In your dashboard, you can see how much Cardano you have. In the Euroi wallet, you can actually stake in the Euroi wallet as well as like voting and some other things. Now, if you want to receive ADA, if you want somebody to send you some Cardano, you will come to the receive tab and you will copy this to the clipboard. This is your wallet address and as soon as you copy this you will send that to whoever it is that's is going to pay you cardano or ada and they will send the ada to you and then you'll see it in transactions here you come to transactions and once the transaction has gone through you'll see it here in the transactions list so that is your roy let's move on to the nami wallet okay so for the nami wallet it's pretty much the exact same process you just come to google type in nami wallet extension and it should be the first one here nami wallet google chrome download fast that's the one okay and then what you will do is you will click add to chrome add extension it'll download come up here to uh, your chrome click the little puzzle and then come to your roy hit pin and then nami and then pin and you'll see them there just all the time now nami wall is works a little bit different it doesn't open up an actual new tab on your browser it just opens up a little uh window here just like this just like metamask it's very similar to metamask and so what you'll do is if you'll create a new wallet right and you'll go through the exact same steps that we just went through for the Uroi wallet you'll have a seed phrase you'll write down the seed phrase make sure you don't show it to anybody uh, make sure you have it somewhere safe written down hard copy and then maybe also if you want to have electronic copy of it on like maybe a, a hard drive offline of you know off the computer then you can do that as well so just set that up exactly the same way you can see that you, you know the, the seed phrase is here I'm not gonna go through that process because we just went through that with your Roy but it's literally the exact same thing and then I will show you the finished product once you have that set up I'll show you what it looks like uh, the dashboard all right so this is the NAMI wallet and this is the interface this is what you'll see as soon as you log in as soon as you created your wallet this is what you will see as soon as you log into the nami wallet the nice thing about the nami wallet is that you can actually see your nfts in the wallet itself so you can see i purchased some dead pixels here i minted some of these dead pixels and you can see that they're sitting in my wallet here i can actually see them i can click on them i can access them through my wallet you can't do that with your roy with your roy you have to go to pool.pm and uh that that's this website here it's just pool literally pool.pm if you don't know most people know about this and then you can actually search by the uh, name or policy and you can search for your NFTs that way. You can actually post your wallet in here as well. Come here to search. You search the wallet. Okay. And you can see that I have two tokens in here and you can see the pool PM and you'll be able to see your beast bros in pool.pm. And that's for like your Roy wallet and Daedalus wallet. With NAMI, you can just see them in your wallet itself, which is nice. So moving on to the NAMI dashboard, it's literally the exact same process as your Roy. So what you'll do is you will, if you want to send and receive, it's, it's very simple. You just click uh, send. So if you want to send, if you want to mint a Beast Bro, you'd get the wallet address on the website. Again, big disclaimer here, don't give send out ADA to any other address except for the minting address on the Beast Bros website. You'll reserve however many and you'll send the appropriate amount of ADA and you will copy that address into the recipient address here. You'll paste it and then you do 55 ADA, right? And then you click send. So it's as simple as that. If you have any questions, you can comment down below in this video. You can reach out to me on Discord in the Beast Bros general chat. You can email me if you're on the email list and uh, happy to answer any questions you have on this. So that's it for this video. Make sure you stay savage.